Have you ever thought about starting a cleaning business specifically for Airbnbs? It's a great question. We're going to talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Today's show is brought to us by turnovercleaningtips.com. This is a website that hosts house cleaners and hosts so that you can get your questions answered. You can ask hosts questions. They can ask you questions. We've got a private Facebook group for those hosts and those house cleaners. So jump in and join us at turnovercleaningtips.com. All right, on to today's show. There is a house cleaner that wrote into the show and she had this question. I'm going to read it to you because there are three or four different points and I don't want to miss any of them. She says, I need your help. My boyfriend and I are starting a cleaning company. Since he's already in the, in the laundry cleaning industry, we decided to do the cleaning service since a lot of people requested it. The problem is we don't know much. I like cleaning and I know how an apartment or a house should look when it's cleaned. I'm having a hard time with the amenities for the Airbnb prices and it seems really expensive and I'm afraid that clients won't pay and will run away. I want my amenities to be toilet paper, personal size of body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and paper towels. That's it. Thank you. Okay. So the, the interesting thing is congratulations on starting a house cleaning business. I am super excited for you. I'm even more excited for you that your boyfriend has decided to go into the business with you as a team and that he has laundry cleaning experience. So yay. I also love the fact that you have narrowed it down to the Airbnb industry. This is super important because it's going to remove all of the guesswork from the other types of cleaning that's out there, like move in, move out cleans, deep cleans, all that stuff, right? You know exactly what you want to do. So yay, half your battle is already over. All right. So the next thing that I would like to mention is the amenities. And then we'll go backwards to the fact where you said you don't know much and the cleaning part where you know what a house should look like. The amenities are not your responsibility. As a house cleaner, you come in and you clean and you restock the supplies that the Airbnb host gives you. So as far as you buying them and then billing the customer back, not something you should have to do unless you want to. And usually that's the property manager's project or part of his business her, or her business. If you want to do that, you can set that up and that only comes with experience and it comes with conversation with the host. So if you're going to buy those supplies and you're going to bill those into the cost, that's up to you, but usually not even recommended. Usually what happens is the host will determine what kind of supplies they're going to provide and then they pay for them and they have them drop shipped from Amazon or somewhere so that the house always has a plentiful stock. And then as a house cleaner, you show up, there's usually a cabinet or a closet that has a lock on it so that guests don't get in and you open up the closet and then you have all of your restocking supplies. These are often things beyond what you just suggested. So for example, there will be toilet paper. That's a given. Every house has toilet paper. There has to be some kind of shampoo and conditioner and lotion. That is also a given. You get that when you go to a hotel, you're going to expect that also when you go to an Airbnb. And so whether they're personal sizes or group sizes, lots of homeowners are going to group sizes where there's a sanitation thing on the wall. You sanitize your hands, you use the shampoo and the lotion and the conditioner or whatever. And it's usually just a pump spray so that when the bottle runs out, you just replace the lid or you get one that has a pump spray on it. That way they're not going through lots of packaging and buying small sizes and all that stuff that you have to restock. Especially if a family is going to be there, let's say there are five people in a family that are going to stay at the Airbnb and they're going to be there for five days. That's a lot of individual sizes when a group size would do just fine. So that's going to be on the host. So that's off your plate. You do not have to worry about that at all. Okay. So starting out, not your problem. All right. The next thing that I would like to mention, you mentioned that you are new and don't have the cleaning experience. So my suggestion to you would be, I love the fact that you're getting started. I would recommend taking some courses before you go into cleaning someone else's house for this reason. The Airbnb is their business. That's their bread and butter. That is how they make their living or part of their living. Okay. So it's an investment for most families. So if you go into an Airbnb and you don't know what you're doing and you use chemicals on surfaces that you don't know if they're good or not on that surface and you try to clean and sanitize and disinfect and whatever, it's possible you could damage a surface. And as a business owner, you are liable for that. So I do want you to be insured and bonded for these very reasons. Okay. The bonding is not for damage. It's for theft of services 
theft of items that are stolen from the house, theft of whatever. Okay. And that is if you are caught stealing. So that is separate, but it's great to have because bonding and insurance is usually part of the same package that people buy when they hire a house cleaner. So you want your bonding and insurance. The insurance is not if you willingly damage something, but if you are cleaning something, you are expected to know what the cleaning chemicals are used for and on what surfaces you can use them. So even if you are spraying something and whoops, you accidentally ruined something, you still may not be covered. Okay. That's why I recommend the training. But if there's an accident, you dump over a lamp on accident while you're vacuuming and you bump into it and it breaks, your insurance will cover that. Okay. So insurance and bonding and training first and foremost. The next thing is what a house looks like when it's clean. It does not necessarily translate to the Airbnb industry because we can clean a room and it looks, oh, nice and tidy. Yay. But that does not necessarily account for the fact that Airbnb cleaning is very different from regular house cleaning. With regular Airbnb cleaning, you have to open up the drawers next to the bed and you have to look inside and make sure someone did not leave a cell phone charger inside that drawer. And then also you got to look underneath the bed. I know a lot of times on maintenance cleans, we look underneath the bed, we vacuum under the bed, but in an Airbnb, you want to make sure there's not even a hair on the floor, right? You got to make extra care. And then you do open up the bottom of the bathroom cabinets and you open up the closets and you open up the coat closet and you open up the linen closets and you have to verify everything is there. With an Airbnb, which is a little bit different than a regular home, we also do a damage control check. That is a standard clean for any house cleaner in the Airbnb space. And so what that is, is when you come in to clean, you're going to do a once over of the property. You're going to check for damage. If there's damage that's pinned on the last guest that came in, because you do a damage check between every guest. And so that's different from a regular home. If you go to a home and there's a little bit of damage, yes, you would, you would verify that to make sure that everybody knows you did not do it, but you're not going to go looking for a little dent here and a ding here. And you know, it's not as high maintenance. So there's a big difference. Now, what I do want to recommend is we have at Savvy Cleaner, we have 39 videos targeted for the Airbnb industry. And I will leave links in the show notes to that link that has all of those videos so that if you're just starting out, you can watch those hundred percent free of charge. Those are shows that we have created through Ask a House Cleaner and they are here just for you. So I want you to have that. Those will be in the links below. All right. I hope you find this helpful. I'm super excited that you're getting started in the industry. It is fantastic because it's a huge industry. It's booming and everybody that runs an Airbnb needs fantastic cleaners. Their ratings and reviews depend on it. All right. Keep me posted. I want to hear how this goes for you. If you're new here, please subscribe. We're here five days a week and we bring you house cleaning tips. And then also we're here to continue this conversation. So in the notes below, you can leave comments, you can ask questions, and we're here to get those answered for you. All right. Until then, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.